over some analysis, let me turn to medical journalist and pediatrician, Dr. Alok Patel, who joins me from San Francisco. Dr. Patel, time after time, you and I have talked about this. Now we have XBB 1.5. Uh, how worried are you, and could this actually drive a new COVID surge here in the United States? Asya, you're right. You and I seem to be speaking on a broken record about the reality of new COVID subvariants, which keeps showing up. Now, what is concerning, what does worry me about this new subvariant is its ability to replicate very quickly, attach to cells tightly, meaning be more efficient at infecting people, and also the lab data showing that it can possibly evade some of our antibodies. But the good news here is that so far we have not seen data either in the lab or other countries, such as Singapore, that is causing more lethal illnesses or more severe illnesses than previous variants. But this does show us that we're not gonna be living in a COVID zero world. COVID is always gonna be around in one form or another, being able to drive these respiratory surge illnesses during winter seasons. So people need to do what they know works to protect themselves and their community, including vaccines, testing, and wearing masks if you're symptomatic and staying away from people who are sick. Do you foresee, Dr. Patel, yet another booster specifically designed to protect us against XBB 1.5. I mean, this is a never ending thing. Get vaccinated, this booster, that booster, this year, next year. I mean, honestly, um, I mean, I'm boosted, but at what point is this going to, I guess you just said it, it's not really ending, is it? It's not, and you know, I, I totally agree with people saying that there is vaccine fatigue happening right now uh, across the world. And so I don't think it'd be a very popular move to be speculating and talking about an updated booster shot. But Asya, I do think what we're gonna be having conversations about is what an annual coronavirus vaccine would look like in a similar way that we see with the influenza vaccine. Are we gonna see a world where we're gonna have an updated coronavirus shot every single year based on what variants are most likely to be circulating? This is exactly what happens with influenza and the influenza vaccine not only saves thousands of lives every single year. It prevents hundreds of thousands of illnesses and hospitalizations, keeping people healthy, keeping them able to go to work and keeping our healthcare system working efficiently. So I think that's a conversation we'll see. And then when you have a combination of RSV, COVID and influenza, uh, how concerning is that with winter now here? Let me tell you what is extremely concerning is the fact that those three viruses you just listed are, are alone enough to overwhelm our hospital system, are enough to keep people at home, unable to live their daily lives, crowd emergency departments, urgent cares. We also have an extreme healthcare shortage in this country, and there is no actual solution for that heading forward. So right now, even people who are going to certain ER departments, not just for respiratory illnesses, but for other, other things they may need, such as trauma or other acute illnesses, are having to wait for hours on end. And I also saw a headline today saying mystery illness where people are getting sick and they're not testing positive for RSV influenza or COVID must be a mystery. I see it's not a mystery. There are several other respiratory viruses out there that cause people to get sick. Adenovirus, rhinovirus, parainfluenza, human metanumo. They just don't have the same PR agency as the other viruses, but there's a lot of reasons out there for people to wind up getting a cold. So that's why it's important that people stay vigilant and realize that you should not go to an emergency department unless it really is an emergency. Talk to your doctor or talk to a clinic about ways that you can take care of your own health and practice supportive care at home. Great advice as always, Dr. Alok Patel. Thank you so much.